Hey, what's going on guys? Crypto from Cryptic Wasn't here and today I am bringing you an unturned tutorial on light or LPX and economy. This is a fairly simple and straightforward tutorial. It may take quite some time, but I'll walk you through it. And please note that I'm running this on a VPS, not my own computer, so ports are already port forwarded. Now I'm going to open up my remote desktop connection and you're going to need three things first you need notepad plus plus which essentially is basically a text editor you're going to need mysql and heady sql now we we'll to go ahead and download the 64-bit installer i've already downloaded that and for mysql you want to click download and then download the 1.7 megabyte version and then click on no thanks just start my download that will automatically start your download and for this one you just want to click the download installer and it will automatically download it now once you've done all of that i've dragged them all here on the desktop now also you want to get the economy and light plugins as you can see now first off we're going to install notepad plus plus click ok next i agree next and next now you can choose to create a shortcut if you want i'm just going to all right once that's done you don't need to run it just click finish now what you're going to do is open up your unturned folder double click on unturned servers server one rocket plugins now for me i have an empty server so i'm going to try the light plugin in and the economy plugin now you should notice these two folders are libraries if you go back you can see there's a folder named libraries and it's empty if you double click on these two as you can see one is showing only three files and one is showing six files now this is in the economy folder so let's get the, the one with more files now it's okay to let's say if you want to go back into li libraries you can replace this if you want it won't affect anything so once you've done that you just want to close out that Go back to your server and start it up. Now, once you start it up, you should see a bunch of red arrows and text, and also for your economy. Now just shut down the server. Alright, once it's shut down, double click on your unturned server folder, go back to Rocket Plugins, and you should now see two folders, Economy and LPX. Now you want to open up LPX and then edit with Notepad. Now as you can see it's much easier, it's colored. And it's more simple now you want to leave these configurations for now we're going to edit that later now you, this one is a database for kids and your database port which you want to leave default lpx enable obviously you want that to be enabled to obviously enable the plugin or disable it income is your salary and kits enable true or false if you're using let's say another kits plugin you can put that as false kits cooldown and income it interval that's how many credits you'll get so 900 credits every like 900 seconds or so on if i change this to 600 i'll get like 900 credits every 600 seconds now you can configure all of this how you want it and i'm just going to leave that for now you can click save to save it i'm just going to close out of it and for economy 
we want to just edit with Notepad++ plus plus. and we're going to leave these for now and you can set your initial balance so new players who join the server will receive this much so if a new player wants to join the server he will receive 200 credits click save you one and then we'll close out that now once you edit and set up that you want to install MySQL I'll we'll click run right now you want to accept the license term click next now we're going to go developer default server only client only we're just going to click custom now we're going to expand this expand this expand it again and then we're just going to install this one we we'll just click it over and click next Execute. Once it has finished installing, it will say complete. Just click the next, and then just click next. All right now you are at the configuration. Now there are three types: developer machine, server machine, and dedicated machine. You can read the description of each one, but for now I'm just going to leave it as developer machine. And the IP port, you just want to leave it for now. Click next. Now this is your MySQL root password. This one you want to leave it unique and let's, for now I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's just type hi. One, two, three. Just add a bit more security. Say weak but obviously you want to use your own password. Now you just want to click next and you just want to leave everything the same. Next and then next. Execute. Now we we'll just go through all the tasks that it needs to do. And then once you're done, just click finish. Next. And you're done installing MySQL. Now secondly, you want to install Hedy SQL, which is essentially a easy to use kind of like a control where you can manage your tables and databases. I'm going to click next. Next install and finish all right now what you're going to do is click new and your username will automatically be root your host name this is basically your local host so i can change to local host or your own ip by just set to local host if you're running this on your own machine your password would be the password they set for the MySQL root password, which I have put high one, two, three. You can click save so you don't have to type in the password again, or you can just click open. Once you're done, you'll be prompt with all of these. These are all databases and they are not useful to us right now or not at all. Basically, they're just essential databases needed for MySQL. Now, what you're going to do is open back unturn go into your files now go back to the LPS configuration you want to edit with notepad plus plus now your database address if you're running this on your own machine let's say you're running the server and MySQL on your own machine you just want to click it leave it as localhost your username will obviously be root because we set as, as that and your database password, which I've put what high one two three, your database name. Now what you're going to do is open the Hedy SQL back again, and you want to click on your main server in MySQL, and then just right click it, click create new database. And the name of the new database is Unturn. So you want to put Unturn and click OK. Now once you've got that, there's nothing in it at the moment, but it will automatically create new ones. Now your LPX table name, you also want to click, leave it as that. And just click Save. And you want to go do this the same for Economy. Edit with Notepad++. 
now the database address of the local host but this time the database username is not root it's unturned i want to go change that to root the password will obviously be high123 or whatever you set for your mysql password database name which we have put unturned and the table which will automatically create just want to click save and then exit out of that now you want to go back and start up your server Once you start the server, as you can see, there are no red text in, at all. And on your new database, you just want to click the refresh button. And as you can see, uh, here are the tables. Now for, let's say, LPX data, this is all the player names and the group assigned to it. LPS group is essentially the uh, groups or the ranks that you want to put now here we have admin let's say permissions if we want to add have them have let's say home you can just enter home and they'll have the command slash home if you want them to have the command let's say kick use space kick and then they have the command kick now the parent group base essentially is let's say if I have home kick ban for default and I set my parent group default here I will have all the groups in default for admin so I'll have all these permissions plus what other permission will I add so if I have this as no permissions I will still have the default permissions into the admin once you got that done, uh, for this table, people who are joined will automatically be assigned a group default. You can edit this in the unturned files of the LPX. So I'll edit with Nympad plus plus, and we'll scroll down to. add auto default that means whenever a play, new player joins they'll automatically be added to default and it will show up here if you keep it as false they will still automatically be added to default but it won't show up here so you have to manually add the steam id now you just want to save that and once we're done here i'm going to open up my unturn so we're going to have to restart the server since we made some configurations as well play connect and the IP I have put is four five three two two four six and nine and the default port will be two seven zero one five or whatever port you put in the configuration of the server so one click connect and then join now when the new player joins they'll automatically to add it to the group default and it will show up on the database here because I've enabled or a default set as true now if you don't see your own name you can just click refresh and you should be able to see it now your steam id is essentially the steam id 64 it's a 32 digit 
Steam ID is unique to everyone. And as you can see, my one is this one. But if you want to find someone else's, or let's say yourself, you can go to Steam ID. .io. Type in your Steam ID, use the login or your Steam profile URL. And as you can see, there is my Steam ID 64. Now, let's say if I want to add myself to group admin, stop in that. I'll automatically be added to the group admin and I do not have to disconnect or at all. And to test that out, as you can see, I already have added the permissions in for myself. So if I do admin, so I add admin myself. Now I can also do default permissions because I have set my default permissions in. So if I were to do the default permissions home, I can do that. I can do kick and all that stuff, but I don't want to kick myself for now. And if I were to remove that parent group, I cannot do what default permissions have. So if I were to go to economy, my starting balance is 200, with, which I've initially set in my um, economy configurations. I want to change that to 500 right now. Get the balance. As you can see, I have 500 credits. And I'll just do another example. Do 1000 credits. See, I have 1000 credits. Now, if we want to access the database remotely or off site, what you're going to do is you need to go into your Windows apps and find the MySQL 5.7 command line client or you can search it up and the password is your database password so hi123 enter now initially when you connect let's say if I want to connect on my computer type in the IP45 2.9 the password high123 if we were to connect it will say access denied for hosts with your IP using the username root and its password now to get rid of that what you're going to do is go into the command line and type in in all caps grant all prove religious on asterisk dot asterisk two and the single speech mark root single speech mark at single speech mark and the percent sign which is a wildcard to basically accept everything like you can input everything you want and the speech mark identified by in the single speech mark your MySQL password hi123 which I've set single speech mark again with grant option semicolon then click enter then if you go back here open it up and we're just going to click no for now as you can see, we are successfully connected to the database remotely. So you can also install an app on your phone, just search up MySQL database, and you can connect to your database on your phone or anywhere else. And you can edit anything you want. So we can just edit my balance back to 500. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it's a quick simple tutorial hopefully it didn't take that long sorry about any imperfections this is my first time ever doing these kinds of videos all the download links will be in the description below and if you want to visit my server as well i will link you my website in the description down below also my steam if you need any help 
and that's it see you guys next time